Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Scorpio placement that you may have in your chart. Contact information as well as the link to your romance specific reading is in the description box. And we're going to jump right in for the second week of September. Second week of September, time is not linear. We're all on different timelines. This could have already happened, maybe happening now, or may happen in the future. Scorpio, whoa, three major arcanas in a row. Big, 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 big stuff, Scorpio. What is going on? Scorpio, let's see, we got a bunch here. Ah, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, they're all laid out with an extra. Let's jump right in. Also going to pull some oracles for you at the end, just to give you some more guidance for the week, okay? Bottom of the deck, we are looking at the Page of Swords. Air sign energy could definitely be an important factor in your week this week. Um, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. This is information either being found out, you're either giving someone information or you're receiving information or someone's watching you, right? Watching you, observing you very, very closely, either to acquire information about you or you're doing this to someone. There's definitely someone that's very curious about you, very observant. They're very much watching what you're doing, watching how you're moving, trying to gather information for one reason or another. This could also be research. So either way, there is some sort of gathering of information being done on someone's behalf here definitely could be on social media online very much an online card okay in your past position we are starting out with judgment energy major arcana with the eight of swords so there is someone from your past something in your past something that you thought was dead that is either used to have you caught up in your head trapped in your head or you're about to be trapped in your head or someone from your past that is trapped in their thoughts of a past situation that is in, involving you eight of swords is being trapped in our thoughts but it's a it's a mental it's a self prison that we put ourselves in because as i say she's surrounded by swords wrapped up in toilet paper so really and truly it's her perspective that is keeping her trapped there not really the actual situation she's perceiving it to be a lot more worse than it is right but these are the thoughts all the thoughts represented by the swords that keep us sort of not being able to move stagnant stuck there's definitely someone from the past something from the past that you were either stuck on or that is stuck on you can't move forward in the same position you left them in however it applies or vice versa okay that's why could they could be watching gathering information right trying to figure out how to come back in with the page of swords you may not be even aware that this person is watching you with this blindfolded energy okay presently major arcana the justice card with the three of pentacles so definitely justice karma has been played out here there was definitely a situation where you were building with someone or there were too many people involved in this situation in the past and karma said hey enough of this cut right through that this is also if you're dealing with legal matters this is you getting what you deserve however that plays out so you're either getting what you deserve someone is being dealt with by you know the universe getting what they deserve because um there was supposed to be some sort of cooperation here or definitely this is a situation you have put an end to someone cannot move forward from the ending so they are watching observing collecting information trying to figure out how they can bring justice back into the situation and cooperate someone wants to cooperate here after probably there was no cooperation in the past right definitely could be the case but whatever this is this person or you are getting what they deserve the situation is how is as how it should be the divine has said this is fair and just okay so someone either definitely wants to give you now cooperation they want you to cooperate they're gonna come out of this headspace energy of being trapped and stagnant and um they're gonna acquire inf enough information to figure out how how to move forward how to get this thing to work again there's definitely some self-sabotage some loss here because we're going from the eight to the three which is a five so definitely some big changes have either already happened or are needing to happen. Or there is definitely some self-sabotaging energy, which definitely reflects back to this Eight of Swords. All right, in your future, 
Another major arcana, the moon card, Pisces energy with the two of cups. So this is like unseen emotions, unseen feelings. This could definitely be why this situation came to an end. This could be why this person is trapped in their head. Whoever it is in the Eight of Swords who, or who was in the Eight of Swords here in the past, they've been keeping this, this, uh, this sort of secret. This is what's causing the stagnancy, the trappedness in their mind. They absolutely feel the way that you feel about them. However, this applies. This is a mutual partnership or mutual relationship, mutual feelings. You guys are both on the same page, but that is being hidden. That is being hidden. This could be what needs to come to light. This could be what the judgment is about. This is, could be what the justice is referring to. This needing to be seen. Someone has deep emotions that they're not either, they're either afraid of these emotions or they're afraid that it's not mutual or they're just afraid for this to be seen. But I think that fear is being cut through, especially with the sword of the justice. We did get an extra card. Ace of Pentacles, an offer, something tangible, potential, a seed that is ready to be nurtured and grown. Not sure where exactly this will take you, but whatever this is, whatever offer this is, whatever, this could be a gift too. Someone wanting to give you a gift. Maybe it's time to express, let the moon be revealed. Absolutely. Three major arcanas across the top. There is a mutual partnership here that is ready to come into the physical reality someone is ready to release fears bottom of that eight of wands movement forward keep it arrows definitely travel communication back and forth communication about this situation there's definitely someone is is reevaluating this energy that they've been in this eight of swords self-sabotaging energy of letting your mind run away with you where it doesn't deserve to go let's get some oracles for you scorpio Libra energy here, Pisces energy here. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Page of Swords. So definitely could be dealing with the air sign. Oops, how many do we have here? Three, we'll take them. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Number is 26, which is an eight. Embrace the in-between. This is what someone is needing to do. Quit trying to fight. Whatever it is, they're... they're the higher self is trying to align them with you have now two eights 26 which is an eight number eight bobcat spirit life is a mystery it cannot be predicted we cannot control how we feel towards things people places right we gotta let life live itself and not allow fear as well to dictate double eight so there's definitely definitely destiny here two eights could be significant 88 Definitely destiny, whatever this was, someone was resisting it out of fear, self-sabotaging. But it looks like now they're going to try and figure out a way to get it back. Some realizations are being had here. Nothing is wasted, number 63. Number nine, completion of a cycle with that nine energy, vulture spirit. Messenger energy as well, nothing is wasted definitely could be something you feel like you wasted your time and energy into or on right everything is a learning experience apparently that's what someone needed scorpio second week of september have faith in your dreams this is also speaking to that fear energy right someone was allowing their fears to prevent from allowing your fears to Prevent them from aligning from what they deserve, which is mutual love, cooperation, opportunity, something that has the potential to grow in the real world, not just in our mind. Okay? Scorpio, second week of September. What do they need to know? Like it wants to come out but it doesn't want to come out that's that fear overthinking type of energy it's like someone wants to say something but then they stop themselves scorpio oops that's way too many how many do i have here two i'll take these yes just say yes that's a direct message not an order suggestion depending on your situation you'll know if that applies don't dim to fit in 
How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Someone is suppressing. This is suppression energy. See, eyes are all closed. Tapping back into this energy. They're all, their eyes are covered. Everybody's eyes is covered up in here. Ain't nobody want to see what's going on and what's right there, the all seeing eye. So you can deny it all you want. Someone has been denying it, trying to avoid their feelings, deep, deep emotions as well. But that's coming to an end. Someone is ready to open or needs to open or is about to be forced to open that eye and release the, the energy of suppression. All right, in order to be aligned, because this is also speaking of alignment too with this yes card. This is double energy of three of pentacles almost. Someone needs to cooperate. They're ready to cooperate. Ready to align. Definitely alignment energy with that. All right, three, 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 three. Mind, body, spirit, all being on the same accord. Being in alignment completely. And that's how we manifest, right? When our mind, body, and spirit all are on the same trajectory, none of them are competing or sabotaging the other. They're all working together towards the point, the goal, the target. All right, Scorpio, beautiful message. I hope this resonates for all of you, most of you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.